kept going. Then his credibility takes another hit. How many police officers stopped you? None. After seeing the cops' dash cam video. So that's the police following you, sir. You don't think that this is a stop? What's wrong with you? Judge Judy. You are about to enter the courtroom of Judge Judith Scheindlin. This is Judge Judy. Julie Muckerson is suing fellow motorist Antonio Perez for causing an accident due to road rage and then fleeing the scene. Antonio is countersuing for the damages to his vehicle. Order. All rise. This is case number 11 on the calendar in the matter of Muckerson versus Perez. Thank you. You're welcome. Parties have been sworn in. You may be seated. Ms. Muckerson, on what date did this automobile accident happen? On the 23rd of December, 2017. At what time? Uh, it was around 9 o'clock. In the morning? Yes, ma'am. Where were you going? To work. Where do you work? J.C. Penney's. And where were you going, Mr. Perez? I was also going to work. Where? In the same retail shopping center she does. Had you ever seen her before? No, ma'am. What kind of car were you driving, Ms. Muckerson? I have a Jeep Grand Cherokee. What year? 2009. And you, sir? 2016 Dodge Journey. And on the 23rd of December, was your car insured? Yes, it was, Your Honor. And Mr. Perez, on the 23rd of December, was your car insured? Yes, ma'am. Each of you claim an automobile incident was the fault of the other. You were both traveling in the same direction? Yes, Your Honor. Would you go over to the chart, and your car is the orange car? Yes, it is, Your Honor. Okay, so explain to me what happened. Um, we were on the freeway, Your Honor, and I noticed that he was tailgating me when we got onto this road. And which... you were traveling in the left lane? Yes, Your Honor. Is it a two lane? Free... Yes, yes, Your Honor. It goes, there's two lanes. This lane here goes straight to a light, and then this lane here will veer off to a different direction. Are there cars coming in the opposite direction? The answer is N no. no. So you are traveling in the left lane. Yes, Your Honor. Which is the pass lane. It's, it's a frontage road, Your Honor, so it's not really a, a pass lane. Well, yes. it's the fast lane. Everybody yes, knows if, if you travel a... in the left lane, it's usually yes, Your Honor. going faster than the cars traveling in the right lane or far over to the right. Yes, Would that Your be Honor. a fair statement? Yes, Your Honor. So you were traveling in the left lane. Yes, Your Honor. And he was close by behind you. Yes, Your Honor. Very close. Go ahead. We got to this point right here, Your Honor, after he was tailgating me and all of a sudden he slammed directly into my truck. He came off of this turnaround road right here. No, no. I'm not, are you miss, right now he's tailgating you. Yes, Your Honor. Then he moves into the other lane. The turnaround lane, yes, Your Honor. The turnaround lane. You mean the turnaround lane where you make a left turn? Yes, Your Honor. Left turn off the freeway. Yes, Your Honor. So he went into the left lane. Then he tried to get back into in front of you? Yes, Your Honor. And he hit your car where? Right on my driver's side, Your Honor. And then what happened? After that, Your Honor, we both rolled down our windows. I thought he was going to ask me if I was okay. He didn't do anything like that. I told him, stay there. I'm going to call 911. And he said, no, I'll meet you in the parking area. Parking area. That's all he said, Your Honor. And the area we were going to is a huge shopping area. What do you mean you were going to? Where I work and where he works, Your well, Honor. Well, show him. You didn't know him from before, so how did you know where he was working? No, he told me he was going to meet me in a parking area, but he didn't tell me what parking area. And before I got a chance to ask him what parking area, he took off like a madman and hit my vehicle again on the front panel of my truck and just kept going. Front driver's side? Yes. So both times your car was hit on the driver's side of your car? Yes, Your Honor. By what part of his car? His right corner of his car. Do you have pictures of your car? Yes, I do, Your Honor. Did you call 911? I did, Your Honor. And the second picture on there, Your Honor, is where he hit me the second time. What happened when you called the police? Well, what happened, Your Honor, after that, I followed him because he was going really quickly. I think it was a road rage incident, and he's trying just, to avoid me. Just, okay. he was going quickly. So I followed him, and he went past probably 10 different parking areas, and he ran two stop signs going into where we eventually ended. And then he actually had to stop for a pedestrian across the street, and that's when I got his license plate number. After that, I kept following him, and then he parked in a parking area, and I parked next to him, 
And again, I said, stay, I'm calling 911. He yelled and cursed something at me and took off again. But that time I stayed in the parking area and called 911. Because you had his license plate Yes, number. Your Honor. Where were you stopped by the police? I was... Um, oh, look at me. Oh, sorry. Where were you stopped by the police? I was stopped in the parking lot where we both had met. How many police officers stopped you? None. You weren't stopped by the police? No, ma'am. I was at the scene at the time when the police arrived. I was there. Your Honor, can I say something? Yes. I have a police dash cam video of them escorting him to my location after they found him at McDonald's and Wells Fargo. No. I'd like to see that. And I also had the 911 call, Your Honor. You really want me to play this? Yeah. Okay. So that's the police following you, sir. Yes, ma'am. That's the police following you. Cavalier, yeah, well, exactly the same car. Set himself down in AW, so I followed that for a minute. Yeah, I had the same car too. Really? It was the same? Yeah. Like at McDonald's. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you want to go talk to him about that? Yeah. So you know that he, he decided he was going to go make his bank deposit before he. You don't think that that's a stop? Mr. Perez, what makes you think that that's not a stop? I was actually in the park. No, no, no. You were followed by the police who followed you, stopped you. You don't think that this is a stop? What's wrong with you? It was in the, I was in the same parking What's lot as she. What's wrong with you? Didn't you know she had this? No. <laughs> That's the answer. You didn't know she had it. So the answer is you didn't know she had the dash cam video of the police following you, your moving car. Two police cars following you because you left the scene of an accident, pulling their cars right next to you, getting you out of the car. You don't consider that a stop? I, I was actually... Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> don't you feel foolish? Now don't you feel foolish? Okay. Can I see the estimate for the damage to your car? Yes, Your Honor. Why didn't his insurance company pay for it? He didn't have insurance, Your Honor. And I have proof of that I'd as like well. to see that. Is that true, Mr. Perez, that you didn't have insurance? I had insurance at the time of the accident. I also have proof of that, too. I'd like to see it. Make sure, listen to me. Yes, ma'am. Do you have a family? Yeah. You don't want to be further humiliated if what you're saying to me is not true, that you didn't have, on the date of the incident, coverage. Because if you did, and your insurance company, after viewing the stop, didn't do an investigation, and say you were absolutely responsible for her damage because I would drop that insurance company. Make certain you're not giving me a baloney story when you say you had insurance on that date because I have documents here. Yep. Did you have insurance on paid on that date? Not a card to show me that you had insurance from this date to this date, but you forgot to pay a premium, so they canceled it. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Did you have insurance? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. Policy was not active at the time of the loss. I have a letter here that shows, shows that they um, covered. And also have a police Shh. report. This doesn't say that at all. You know something? I'm absolutely amazed, Mr. Perez, because you look like a relatively nice man. You have a job, mm -hmm. and you're a hustler, and you're a liar and a hustler. Because what you did was, on the date of the accident, you authorized payment of your insurance on a visa card. <laughs> they weren't taking that because the accident occurred before you paid them on the 23rd of December. That's what this says, that on the 23rd of December 2017, you authorized payment of $551 to be charged to your visa card for payment of the above-listed policy. December 23rd, 9 a.m. Did you pay it before 9 a.m. in the morning? That is correct. <laughs> you should be embarrassed. You should be embarrassed, humiliated and embarrassed. But you probably don't have the $4,000 that you owe her to fix her car. Judgment for the plaintiff. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Bodies are excused when they step out. Very frustrating. I can't believe that people can just hit you and keep going and not even ask if you're okay or take responsibility for their actions. I was in my lane to turn left and she was going and saw that there was more cars in her lane. I don't know. I think it was all a road rage incident. I don't know why he did what he did. So she went into the shorter lane with cars in it and she pulled out in front of me and hit me and knocked me under the curb. Keep a cool head, watch what you're doing, always be responsible, and look out for other people. Ready to put it behind me. I'm very happy for her decision. And now, the next case. All parties in the matter of Fernandez versus Banuelos. Step forward. 22-year-old Geronimus Fernandez is suing fellow skateboarder, 17-year-old Saul Banuelos, and his father, Sebastian, for medical bills and pain and suffering due to a dog bite. Mr. Fernandez, the defendant's dog bit you. Where? On my side, left side. On what date? On July the 23rd, 2017. Have you had met the defendant before? I have not met them. You weren't there that day? I wasn't there. And how old are you? 17. So that's why you're here. You're his father. And you were walking the dog that day? Yeah. Well, you weren't actually walking the dog. You were on a skateboard. Yeah. Not yeah. Yes! Yes. And you were on a skateboard, and the dog was pulling you? Yes. Had you ever done that before? Yes, I've done it for two years. What kind of a dog do you have? Siberian Husky. Your dog bit the plaintiff? Yes. You're going to tell me how that happened. Judge Judy continues in a moment. That's the direction that you're coming from. OK, I was just riding, and then the other person was right here, and they crashed. Go back there. I don't understand a word you're saying. So you, either you're not telling me the truth or you're trying to think very fast. Get to the Ross Fall Fashion Event and get the brands you want, check this out, at Oh Yeah Prices. From the latest trends to your favorite brands, it feels even better when you find them for less. At the Ross Fall Fashion Event, yes, for less. Have you or someone you know had blood work or a biopsy that diagnosed celiac disease? If so, learn more about our clinical research study of an investigational drug. To qualify, you must be an adult age 18 to 59. Participants will receive medical exams and study medication at no cost, plus compensation up to $650. So if you are on a gluten-free diet and have celiac disease, call Anaheim Clinical Trials at 714-774-7777. That's 714-774-7777. I needed my SSI benefits, but I didn't even know where to start. I have diabetes and terrible migraines. I need Social Security disability benefits. What am I supposed to do? Well, the first thing you should do is call me. You can get disability for injuries, sickness, or mental health issues, and I know what to do to make it happen. I called Dr. Bell. I got a huge back paycheck, and now I'm getting my benefits. I'm Dr. Bill Latour. I'm both a psychologist and a lawyer. Call me. I know what to do to get you approved. Call 1-800-803-5090. Magnum. Magnum. Magnum! You may want to close your eyes. Oh, this is going to be fun. Ah! Nice doggy! Magnum. Yeah. Bring the car back in one piece. I think you mean me. Magnum PI premieres CBS Monday, September 24th. You know when you're at Ross and you find that brand? No. For how much? Uh, yes. That's Yes for Less. Fall's best accessories are even better when you find them for less. At Ross, Yes for Less. Closed captioning is provided by... Your hunger's so bad that this pasta looks good. It comes a 90 crew with a protein one. Papa, yeah. Protein one. 90 calories, 10 grams of protein, 1 gram of sugar. There's little rest for a single dad, and back pain made it hard to sleep and get up on time. Then I found Aleve PM. The only one to combine a safe sleep aid plus the 12-hour pain-relieving strength of Aleve. <laughs> I'm back. Aleve PM for a better AM. Real cases, real people. Judge Judy. Euronymous Fernandez says, Saul Banuelos is responsible for his medical bills due to a dog bite. Euronymous says the dog was pulling Saul on his skateboard when he attacked. You're in a skateboard park, right? Mm -hmm. Specifically designed for people riding skateboards. Mm, not 
specifically. There's different areas. There's like a picnic park. Was there anybody else on a skateboard whose dog was pulling them that day? No. Just you? Yes. Now, let's get back to the 23rd. At what time did your dog bite the plaintiff? Uh, it was in between 7 and 8 p.m. Now, you want to tell me how that happened? Yes. Do I go? Sure. Well, the skate park is right here. I see where the skate park is. It's, like, outside of it. And uh, there's a ramp, on, like, pretty much on this section. And I usually go through the side. I don't care what you usually do. I want to know what you did on the 23rd of July, between 7 and 8 at night. OK, so he was on No, he's skate... coming the other way. You're coming from where your hand is. That's the direction that you're coming from. OK, so I went through the side, and I was just riding, and then the other person was right here, and they crashed. Go back there. I don't understand a word you're saying. So you're not, either you're not telling me the truth or you're trying to think very fast. Because I know that when you're out with your friends and you're telling them a story, you talk a little bit faster. You're on your skateboard. Your dog is pulling you. And what happened? Um, not they... um. What happened? That your dog bit him. How did that happen? My dog pretty much defended itself. No. That's a conclusion, young man. I want you to tell me what happened. Your dog is running. You're behind him on a skateboard. So the dog is propelling you on the skateboard. How? Did it happen that your dog bit the plaintiff? And if you can't remember, I'm going to ask him and believe him. Do you understand? Yes. Judge Judy continues in a moment. Do you have pictures of the injury? I do. I'd like to see them. I still have the scar to this day. Could you step up, please? Sit on your side. Too much for your glasses. Fault. Ah, don't blame yourself. Just next time, go to America's Best, where two pairs and a free exam are just $69.95. You save on contacts there, too. Huh. I can't believe I missed that. Well, you can't spot them all. You think they sound like birds? I think they sound like birds. America's Best, celebrating 40 years of providing affordable eye care. I was riding my motorcycle, I was going through an intersection, when out of nowhere, a car just creams me, wipes me out. Every day was a new medical bill. Insurance company wasn't paying me nothing. And I come across an advertisement, Law Office of Jacob M. Ronnie. So I called. Best call I ever made in my life. Jacob M. Ronnie and his staff took complete control. Went after the insurance company, got all my medical bills paid, and got me a settlement that I can get back on my feet. I've been helping accident victims throughout Southern California for over 20 years. After an accident, give us a call and we'll show you how our passion turns into results for you. Jacob and Ronnie and his team have proven they demand results when their clients need support. After an accident, call Jacob, the only name to trust when winning is a must. Call 800-590-9030 or go to calljacob.com. Accident. Or injury, call Jacob and Ronnie, call Jacob. Real cases, real people, Judge Judy. Euronymous Fernandez says, Saul Banuelos is responsible for his medical bills due to a dog bite. Euronymous says, the dog was pulling Saul on his skateboard when he attacked. How did your dog bite him? 
Don't put your hand up. I'm not interested. You weren't there. You want to tell me how it happened? If I may. Go ahead. May I go to the side? No, oh, just tell me how it happened. Correct. You're on your skateboard. He's coming from the opposite direction with his dog. Tell me. May I show you too? Please, no. the photos? Tell me. Sure. So, I'm right here on this side. And I'm getting exactly prepared, waiting in line for everyone else to go. Just a second. I'm waiting. As what you're... Let's go back there. Follow me. You're standing in line waiting to do what? Do my trick. And you have to do that on a ramp? No, you can do it anywhere. How many people are in front of you? At that point, no one is. Had you been standing there waiting to do your trick in line? That's yes. A yes. Uh, this is Correct. sound. It's talky. How many people had been in front of you when you got on the line? One. So that person went and did their trick? Yes. The defendant and his dog at some point crossed your path? Correct. Tell me what happened. So I'm basically standing exactly where the orange man is. And I'm going to do my trick. I'm getting ready. And I'm basically Not ba on the roll. I don't want to hear basically. I don't want to hear like. You're waiting in line. It's now your turn to do your trick. And? As soon as I put my foot on the board and I take one step and look at my board and I'm able to balance, I soon see the dog coming at me without even noting a hesitation. So it just came up and lurched at you. You had no prior contact with the dog. Correct. You didn't kick it. You didn't punch nope, it. Nope, ma'am. Okay. And do you have pictures of the injury? I do. I'd like to see them. I still have the scar to this day. It's something that I feel that you should see. The dog bit me. It bit twice. The first one ripped my shirt. The second one caused me to have that bite. Do you have a medical report? I do. I'd like to take a look at it. Do you still have a scar? Could you step up, please? Is it on your side? Would you point it out? It's all right here to here. And that's his first bane of his tooth down okay. to this part. Got it. Judge Judy continues in a moment. Closed captioning sponsored by... Mesothelioma victims, call now. $30 billion in trust money has been set aside. You may be entitled to a portion of that money. Call 1-800-647-8900. Sleep disturbances keep one in three adults up at night. Only RemFresh uses ion-powered melatonin to deliver up to seven hours of sleep support. Number one sleep doctor recommended RemFresh, your nightly sleep companion. Real cases, real people. Judge Judy. Good afternoon, I'm Jeff Vaughn. Coming up at 5, allegations of racism at an Orange County High School football game. The chants and the signs now pitting two principals against one another. Plus, warnings along the southeast coast as Hurricane Florence is picking up steam. The latest on what will likely become a very destructive week. And California looking to come clean. The state's new staggering global warming goals. When and how we will cut today on CBS 2 News at 5. We'll see you then. It takes a team of journalists to cover Southern California. To cover our nation and the world. At CBS, our team is hard at work getting the stories. And getting the facts. That is our commitment to you every night. When things get ugly, call the We Buy Ugly Houses people. We can give you an all-cash offer and can close quickly. Go to webuyuglyhouses.com or call 800-44-BUYER. Are you suffering with plantar fasciitis foot pain? Has this been going on between 1 and 18 months? There is a clinical trial evaluating Amniofix in an investigational study designed for people with plantar fasciitis foot pain. Qualified participants will receive all study-related care at no cost, including doctor visits, study medication, and financial compensation. If you're suffering with plantar fasciitis foot pain, call 213-246-2121. If you've been injured in an accident, choosing the right law firm is critical. Choose a law firm with the experience and success to help you get the best result possible. Injured? Call the Barnes Firm now. Call 1-800-800-0000. The attorneys at the Barnes Firm are ready to help 24-7.
When things get ugly, call the We Buy Ugly Houses people. We can give you a cash offer, not some phony online offer without even seeing your house. Go to WeBuyUglyHouses.com or call 800-44-BUYER. Want justice? Go to JudgeJudy.com. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Have anything to tell me? Um, yes, I was walking my dog with my skateboard and he passed me and there was pretty much riding between two lanes because there's pillars in between. And on his lane, there was a dead end, right? So he turned to the right and they collapsed and he threw his, he flew his skateboard and... He like, threw his skateboard to start to do a trick. He realized he saw the dog, like, and him, they were, that they were going to crash. So he just, like, launched the skateboard. No, 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 listen to me. He wasn't moving. He was. You were being pulled by your dog. Yes. It's not a good idea. Do you understand? Just not a smart idea. You clearly weren't in control. Did you see that he was injured? Mm, no. Weren't you interested that he was injured by your dog? Oh, yeah, I did see that he was injured and I was interested. How long have you had the dog? I had him for two years. Has he ever bitten anybody else? Um, Look yes. Look at me now. Who? Uh, our cousin. When did he bite your cousin? I'm not sure. In what year? The same year. How old is your cousin? Ten. A child? Yes. Was the child seriously hurt? Mm. Where was he bitten? In, in the finger. If you're going to take your dog out, your dog has now bitten at least two people. Yes. Put a muzzle on him. You're on notice. The dog should be muzzled all the time when it's out. It's now bitten two people. Do you understand? I do. Judge for the plaintiff in the amount requested, $1,000. We're finished. I excuse you may step up. Judge Judy continues in a moment. And on the next Judge Judy. Domestic arguments sometimes get out of hand, and the fight escalated into something more physical. Yes. Did you put your hands on him? Absolutely not. Did you bite him? Judge Judy. I don't know, man. They talk about saying that, you know, I ever reacted when you get bit by a dog. As he was in a skateboard, we were both going pretty much the same speed. I had no reaction to it due to the reason that I was in shock. He, he like, threw his skateboard with his feet. Because of the bite? So I had to back up, but I never really even wanted to touch the dog, even when I... As he was going, and, like, he did that. Had the thought of, never happened because I don't have that kind of thought of hurting a pet. I'm pretty sure the dog reacted at, at the same time. At the end, it's a dog, and I don't have anything against an animal. Yes, we sent him back to our country. You know when you're at Ross and you find that brand? No. For how much? Uh, yes. That's Yes for Less. Fall's best accessories are even better when you find them for less. At Ross, Yes for Less. It's Spectrum's best deal days. Get Spectrum TV, Internet, and Voice from $29.99 a month each. Call 844-559-2999. Spectrum TV with free HD, thousands of free on-demand titles, and access to the free Spectrum TV app to watch live TV at home or on the go. Spectrum TV from $29.99 a month. Spectrum has the fastest internet starting speeds, 100 megabits per second, and enough bandwidth to keep everyone's devices connected with no data caps, plus a free modem. But wait, there's more when you call 844-559-2999. Spectrum Voice, with unlimited nationwide calling in the U.S., Canada, Mexico, and more, with no additional taxes and fees, all with no contracts. It's Spectrum's best deal days. Get Spectrum TV, Internet, and Voice from $29.99 a month each. Plus, introducing Spectrum Mobile. Ask how you can save up to 40% off your current mobile bill. Call 844-559-2999. Get to the Ross Fall Fashion Event and get the brands you want, check this out, at Oh Yeah Prices. From the latest trends to your favorite brands, it feels even better when you find them for less. At the Ross Fall Fashion Event, yes for less. Drone Force 2, only from CBS2 News. I called the police on her, and I was the one who was arrested. The baby was with his father? Yes. Disturbing video of a mother's tirade. Please leave me alone. Get away from me. 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 But it was Dad who paid the price. I want to know what you told the police to get him arrested. He didn't put his hands on you. Yes, he did, actually. I didn't see that. Judge Judy. 
You are about to enter the courtroom of Judge Judith Scheindlin. This is Judge Judy. 24-year-old Justin Heisch is suing the mother of his child, 27-year-old Alicia Westfall, for destroying his clothes and assault. Alicia's countersuing for a smashed phone and a false restraining order. Order. All rise. This case number 151 on the calendar, the matter of Heitch versus Westfall. Thank you. You're welcome. Parties have been sworn in. You may be seated. Mr. Heitch, the defendant is your former girlfriend and you have a child together. While you're no longer in a relationship, you moved from California to New York. Yes. You moved from California to New York together after your child was born, but didn't live together once you got to New York, trying to co-parent. And it is your claim that Miss Westfall assaulted you and was in your apartment? Yes. Subsequent to that, she let herself into your apartment with a key that had been placed in a place where she knew it was to get it so she could wait for you during child exchange, and she destroyed some property. So I'd like you to tell me, first, how old is your baby? And it's a boy? Yes, it's a boy. He's, uh... 21 months. When did you move to New York? February 2018. And you have work there? Yes. And do you have work there? Yes. Each have your own apartment? Yes. On what date did this assault take place? In June sometime. June. In June of 2018. Well, I'd like you to tell me the exact people who were assaulted usually know what date it is. Did you file a police report? Yes, it was like June 18th. Did you file a police report? Mm, yeah, I filed a police report, but... I don't have that with me. Why? Because I called the police on her, and I was the one who was arrested. Do you have the police report? No, Your Honor, I don't have no police report. You were arrested for what? I guess for being attacked, but... No, you weren't arrested for being attacked. Your Honor... Did you spend any time in jail? A couple of days, and they, I guess they... Well, a couple of him. days is mm -hmm. time. Did you have any medical treatment? No. Where were you injured? Um, in my head. Tell me about the injury in your head. She hit me in the head, like, two or three times with an alcohol bottle. And you have a photograph of that. They completely went on her side. They assumed that I assaulted her, and they didn't believe anything I said. But I have video footage of what actually occurred. Of her hitting you? Yes. I'd like to see it. Okay. Were those charges subsequently dismissed? Yes. Did you show your lawyer this video? Um, yes. You go back to my son in a call for no reason. Please leave me alone. Get away from me. I got you. you just broke my phone. I got a restraining order against you. I have a restraining order against you. I have a restraining order. Oh, okay. Sir, so, excuse me. Yes. Can you please call the police for me? Because I had to take my son outside and he's drunk. Please, can you see? No, I don't give <laughs> he about to Look, he, he's drunk. He's about to take my son. You crazy. I told you not. All right, here, let me. She's not going to call. She's. Jeez. No, are you crazy? Put my son upstairs. Put my son upstairs. Alicia, get away from me. Put my son upstairs. Get away from me. Okay, I'll come with the police car. Get away from me. I told him you really gonna do what you were. You, you, you really just screwed up your life. You really okay. just screwed up your life. You shouldn't do it. You really screwed up your life. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. Oh my get God, excuse me. Get away from me. Put my son back, you idiot. Put my son back. Get away from me. Put my son back, you idiot. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. Now, you'll see. You'll see. You'll see. I ain't never coming back against you again. You going to jail, bruh. You going to jail. I'm calling 911 right now. You just threw that bottle at me. OK. Now I'm going to start with you. OK. I got my story. No, I'm going to ask you specific questions. OK. The baby was with his father. He was with that, both of us. That's a yes or a no. The baby was yes. with his father. Yes. And he was at his father's house. Yes. At the hotel. And this video took place in the hallway of his father's house. Yes, I believe so. Yes. What? Yes. Where had you been that day? I came to pick up my son. What time? 11 p.m. Did he let you in? Um, no, I just, uh, there is, uh, somebody let me in. He didn't let me in. Somebody else let me in. What does that mean, somebody else let you because in? Because it's a uh, house, uh, people coming in and out, and people just can't go in, and they were out Did go you in. buzz him and let him know you were coming? I believe so. I texted no, him. No, no, not I believe so. Did you let him know you were coming? I texted him a message. That's all I know. Fine. I remember. 
Were you supposed to pick up your son that evening? Yes, yes, I was. Is that correct? Yes. Now, when you got upstairs, yep. I want you to tell me whether you went into the apartment. I went upstairs, then I grabbed my son's clothes, and I was trying to get my son to live with me. He won't let me bring my son with me. So that's how the thing started. I asked you whether you went into the apartment. That's an either yes, yes, yes or no. Yes, yes, I did, yes. And when you went into the apartment, you picked up your son's things. Yes. Now, if you were supposed to pick up your son, what was the problem? You both said you were supposed to pick him up that evening. Yes. Were you supposed to pick him up earlier that evening? Before no. 11 at night? Yeah, before 11 at night. But I was a little bit too late because I went to get my nails done. He well, got mad. Well, that's a problem. What time were you supposed to pick him up? Well, I was... I was Look at me. A 21-month-old baby. What time were you supposed to pick him up. 6 p.m. And you got there at 11. Yes. And you didn't buzz him. You texted him, I'm coming now because I had my nails done. Yes. Did he say don't come? Uh, he didn't say anything. He didn't respond He didn't back. respond to you? No. So now you knock at the door. It's 11 o'clock at night. You're five hours late. Yes. And what did you say to him and what did he say to you? Well, when I get there... Not a well. I went in there and I... What, how did you get in? I just walk in. What do you mean you just walked in? You mean you walked into the apartment? Yes, yes, did I did. Did you have a key? No. Was the door unlocked? Well, the door downstairs was unlocked, yes. That's not what I'm talking about. The door to his apartment, was it locked or um, unlocked? No, I, I just knocked in and he opened the door. He, That's he what was I surprised. That's what I asked you. Okay. Did you knock at the door? You yes, said, I, I did. just well, yes. You'll never know where I'm going. Okay. Yes, I did. You'll never know where I'm going. Been doing this for more years than you're alive. Okay. I know exactly what happened that night. So you knocked at the door and he opened the door. Yes. And you said to him. That I'm here to pick up my son. And he said to you. No. Because you were five hours late. And everybody was sleeping. I, I usually do that before. He never get mad until I went to, pick, pick, uh, to do my nails. He, he assumed that I was out uh, doing something Who with somebody cares? else. You're five hours late. Now, where did you get the bottle from? That, the, the, that was his bottle. Where did you... Listen, I saw what you were holding yes. behind you. Yes. Do yeah. you understand? Yes, I saw, yeah. Where did you get the bottle from? From his place. From his apartment? Yes, yes. Now... I thought you just went there to get the baby. You said to me, I gathered up my son's things. When you gathered up your son's things, at what point did you pick up a bottle? Well, that was the bottle. He was drinking something, so I knew that bottle. He loved that bottle. Just, 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 I don't care what you knew. I don't care what you're going to ascribe to him that he was drinking. I took that bottle. All I know is you're five hours late. Yes. Everybody's sleeping. You think it's okay to come and pick up a baby 11 o'clock when you're supposed to be there at 6, and you picked up a liquor bottle and you threw it at him. No, I did not throw it at I uh, No, I did not throw it at just. Really? No, I didn't. I threw the bottle away, f away. He was way far away over there, and I threw the bottle away over there because I know he loved that bottle. That bottle is his favorite. That's why I threw it away this way. He was way over there when I threw the bottle. Oh. I will never throw well, the bottle on destroyed, my Well, then you destroyed his property. Because that's another thing he's suing for. He's suing for a different time that you destroyed well, his property. he does the same thing to me. I saw you destroy his property. That's his favorite liquor bottle. You picked it up and you threw it. That's destroying his property. <laughs> So far, that's what I saw. I want to know what you told the police to get him arrested. That's good, Christian. Hey, uh, I want to know what you told the police to get him arrested. Did you tell them you were five hours late picking up your son? No. No. I, I didn't have to tell no, them No, did you tell them that you picked up his property and destroyed it? No. No. Did you go to the hospital that night? Yes, I called the ambulance for myself, yes. You called an ambulance yes. for yourself? Yes, yes, Before Your or after the police left? Yeah, because um, I was... Um, I believe I was um, um, I was uh, two months pregnant, yes, Listen when that me. happened. I don't care if you were two months pregnant. He didn't put his hands on you. Yes, he did, actually. I didn't see that. It, it, that video, well, sh video show, me, show. show me the photographs of where he put his hands on you. Well, you know what? I don't have the video. Oh, you he know what? I don't phone. believe you. No, actually, Your Honor. Just a second. You know what? I don't believe you. Well, I have uh, the proof. It was one of this phone. Good, he great. I had the proof. I want to see the proof of where he put his hands on you. Show me the proof in the phone. Well, it's not in the phone. He broke the phone, so I can't even do it. I can't even show so it. So what'd you bring more. it for? I, oh, I, I bring it because he broke my phone, too. That's why show I Show me it. a medical report indicating your injuries that night. If you called an ambulance and went to the hospital... Well, well when the ambulance well, came... Well, well, 
show me a medical report of your injuries. Mm, that's You're a smart cookie. I yes. know exactly what you did. Yes, yeah, but yes, but when I called the ambulance and I want them to check my blood pressure. Oh, who cares? So they checked my blood who pressure who and they saw that my blood, blood pressure, pressure was okay. Who cares about so your blood pressure? So then let me go there. They, 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 I asked them for. Listen to me. A I don't care about your blood pressure. You had no reason to come late, and if you went and had your nails done, let him dry overnight and pick up the baby in the morning. Has the well, baby he had no spent? reason to go crazy on me for no reason. He said no for a reason. You've been exchanging this baby and having reasonable periods back and forth for a long time until you pushed it. And I know you got the baby back that night because you made up some sort of a baloney story. Yeah. You made up a baloney story, so you got the baby back because everybody knows the drill. Judge Judy continues in a moment. 29th, she called me and said that my printer, my computer, and all my suits, everything was just ransacked. It was all destroyed. I told you I came in to pick up my son. That's what I did. I did not book none of your stuff. You make it up. Make now it all you right. came home. Don't speak to him. Hey, be good, kiddo. I gotta go to work. I love you. Bye. Dog home alone all day, who knows what they'll get into. A day without a walk is a sad day for your dog. But now you can make your dog's day with WAG, the on-demand dog walking app. Get a WAG certified walker to walk your dog at a moment's notice. WAG walks are insured and bonded. And WAG walkers are vetted, experienced dog handlers who'll give your dog the affection and attention they deserve. WAG has live GPS tracking and will even tell you where your dog marks its territory. Huh. My dog poop. WAG, the number one on-demand dog walking app. Get your first walk free when you download the app now. Thomas Sullivan Magnum. That's me. Magnum, whatever you're planning, don't. Back him. Yeah. Bring the car back in one piece. Welcome to the party. Sure you don't want to go? Thanks, but I'd rather not watch you get eaten by a shark today. Wouldn't be me. They go for the white meat first. <laughs> Time to go. Magnum P.I. premieres CBS Monday, September 24th. I'm Pat Harvey. Just ahead on CBS 2 News at 5, dramatic body cam video from the LAPD showing the frightening moments an officer was shot. Plus... Squealing tires, drivers doing donuts just inches from spectators, dangerous street takeovers on local streets, and reuniting with the baby they rushed to save. We have the special day for some local deputies ahead on CBS 2 News at 5. See you then. Closed captioning is provided by... Your hunger's so bad that this pasta looks good. Here comes a 90 crew with a protein one. calories, 10 grams of protein, 1 gram of sugar. There's little rest for a single dad, and back pain made it hard to sleep and get up on time. Then I found Aleve PM. The only one to combine a safe sleep aid plus the 12-hour pain-relieving strength of Aleve. <laughs> I'm back. Aleve PM for a better AM. Real cases, real people. Judge Judy. Justin Heisch is suing his ex-girlfriend, Alicia Westfall to throwing a glass bottle at him while their baby was in his arms. Now, since June, have you been having your regular periods of time with your son? Yes. So you made up with her? Um, sort of. Sort of. Pleased to hear about that. When you say sort of, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, sir, and then I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with this case. Now I know exactly who she is. I want to know who you are. Is she pregnant with your child or someone else's? That's unknown. I don't know. Has she told you it's yours? Yes. Could there be a possibility that it's yours? There could be a possibility. Yes. Okay, so that we'll was see. April, May. This happened June 18th, right? And she's still pregnant, correct? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. It's yes. not an answer. Yes. Yes. And this happened in June. Yes. That's what you told me, June yes. 18th. Yes. Now, since June 18th, you were in jail for a couple of days. Charges were dismissed, as they should have been. 
Have you seen the defendant? Um, oh, almost not an answer. Yes, I've seen her. Have you seen her for more than just exchanging time no. with your son? No. So you haven't spent any time together? Uh, no. Is that correct? Yes. How much time do you spend with your son? As much as no, I can. No, not as much as I can. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday to Sunday. What? Well, every, every day, usually. She brings him. We just, we both spend time, like, four or five hours every day. Where does he sleep? He sleeps at both of our houses. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. So there was no reason that he couldn't have slept at his father's house on the 18th of June. Well, he was begging me to come get the baby that night. I didn't want to come get the baby. I told him I was going to go somewhere to get my, my nails done, my hair done. But when I got there Just late... Just a second. So... Oh, well, he was begging you to come earlier to pick him yes, up. Yes, that's ah, true. Yes, he yeah, was, yeah. I, Listen, yeah. I know you're a But cookie. he didn't have to do that. He didn't Just have to go crazy. Nobody has to go through anything. He was asking you to come early when you were supposed to come, and you said, no, I'm going to go get my nails done. Yeah. I got, I got who you are. Now, other than destroying your favorite liquor bottle, it is also your claim that she came into your house. Yeah, she came to my house and destroyed my property in New York. On what date? It was like June 29th. So after this incident? Yes. Between the time that you got out of jail and June 29th, had you seen your son? Yes, I seen him, yes. When? Like the 24th or something? Yeah, the 24th. Did you have an argument with her? Um... Almost not an answer. I don't think... I, no, I didn't have an argument. Did you have an argument during a visit before um, the 29th? Yes, I, I, actually, he did. Um, because he bring my son to me, and I noticed that one of my stuff was broke. My phone was broken. And I put my phone on the couch, and it was broke. And I didn't put my phone... I know my son didn't put my phone. It was him who put my phone. He went to my phone, and I, I believe he saw me texting somebody on my phone he didn't want me to talk to. So then he broke the phone. So I won't talk okay, to that person. Okay, well, you didn't see that. Is that right? Well, I didn't see him, but I know he did it. question is, you didn't see him break your phone. I know he did it. Good. Judge Judy continues in a moment. You knew you weren't getting along, and you moved into two different residences. And that was in what month? That was in, uh... February. February. So I want to know, if that was in February, how come you find yourself pregnant for two months in June? Two pairs and a free exam are just $69.95. You save on contacts here, too. Huh. I can't believe I missed that. Well, you can't spot them all. <coughs> you think they sound like birds? I think they sound like birds. America's Best, celebrating 40 years of providing affordable eye care. <coughs> oh. <coughs> it's going to be a great month for Riviera. You heard about Riviera's share the profit sale, Herm. What? the profits got a discount everything we've been doing it since the 60s it's riviera upholstery's share the profit sale get up to 30 percent off any furniture reupholstery project so send that old couch on a trip to the riviera riviera reupholstered furniture that is call 800-55-COVER 800-552-6837 $289 million was just awarded to a user of Roundup Weed Killer. If you or a loved one has used Roundup or Ranger Pro Weed Killer and have been diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma or chronic lymphocytic leukemia, you must call us now for a free confidential consultation. Our product defects team has recovered money damages for thousands of men and women, and we can help you. Call now at 800-333-0000. And we'll fight for you. Hablamos Español. 
Real cases, real people. Judge Judy. Justin Heisch claims the mother of his child, Alicia Westfall, ruined his clothes and assaulted him. On June 29th, yes. you went to his apartment. Yes, yes, I went to his apartment. What for? To pick up my son, I believe. No, your son wasn't there. Hmm. June 29. Yes, I went to pick up my son. Yes, I believe. So he wasn't there. Yes, and he neither told me was I can. Son. Yes, he told he told me I can go in, and then I went. Okay. So he told you to go in. Had you gone into his apartment alone before? Um. Um is not an answer. Before June 29th, had you gone into his apartment before? before? Uh, yes, yes, yes. When? Way before all this. Uh, before I went on June 29th. Yes, I went. Uh, to his apartment okay, so a few way times. before all this bad stuff happened, so you knew where the key was. Yes, yes, he put the key so that if somebody come in, he can tell them go in. So I knew, so and I did it. I went in there. What happened on the 29th? 29th, she called me and said that all of my my printer, my computer, and all my suits, everything was just ransacked. It was all destroyed. Did she tell you how that happened? She just said she came in and it was like that. I told you I came in to pick up my son. That's what I said. That's what I did. I did not book none of your stuff. You make it up. You make now it all Now you came lies. home. Don't speak to him. Now you came home, and what did you find when you came home? Exactly what she said. Broken stuff. What broken stuff? My suits were bleached and water damaged on some of them, and my computer. How many? Well, this is a court, sir. I'm not going to guess. Uh, five you, suits. You have photographs of them? Yes. I'd like to take a look at them. Is this what your place looked like? Yes. Did you notify the police? I'm not. Yeah, I didn't want to put her in jail. Mr. Haish and Miss Westfall, what I'm going to tell you is if something is simple to me. Evidently, it wasn't as simple to you. When you moved from California to New York, you moved to co-parent one child, and you knew you weren't getting along, and you moved into two different residences, right? Yes. And that was in what month? That was in uh, February. February. Yes. So I want to know, if that was in February, how come you find yourself pregnant for two months in June? <laughs> Judge Judy continues in a moment. Closed captioning sponsored by... Mesothelioma victims, call now. $30 billion in trust money has been set aside. You may be entitled to a portion of that money. Call 1-800-647-8900. Sleep disturbances keep one in three adults up at night. Only Remfresh uses ion-powered melatonin to deliver up to seven hours of sleep support. Number one sleep doctor recommended Remfresh, your nightly sleep companion. Real cases, real people. Judge Judy. It's finally here. The Ross Fall Fashion Event has the brands you want. No. God. Yes. At oh yes prices. Like that handbag for wait, how much? What? Or that cute jacket that says check me out at a price that makes you say, check this out. That's yes for less. Find your new fall look at the Ross Fall Fashion Event. Ross has the trends you want and the brands you love. And it feels even better when you find them for less. Get to the Ross Fall Fashion Event. Yes for less. I need Social Security Disability benefits, but when I applied, I got denied. Here's what you do. Call me. Just because you've been denied does not mean you don't deserve benefits. I know what to do to get you approved. Call 1-800-803-5090. While other solar companies come and go, Peterson Dean Roofing and Solar continues to grow. In fact, we're actively adding quality American jobs in renewable energy and celebrating our 35th successful year in business by offering up to $3,500 off any solar or roofing project. Yes, we're celebrating 35 years, so you get up to $3,500 off. The federal tax credit will sunset over the next few years, and power companies continue to raise rates and change the rules to charge you more. Right now is the best time to Take control and start saving money with a solar power system from the industry leader, Peterson Dean. Other solar companies come and go, but Peterson Dean will be here to provide the best workmanship and stand behind the best warranties in the business. So you get peace of mind that your new roof, solar power system, or good neighbor fence will be built first class to last. But we can't afford to provide up to $3,500 discounts for long. Just call 888-891-0994. That's 888-891-0994. It's the beginning of the end. What? Here we go. Oi. Monday, September 24th, be there for the start of Big Bang's final season. No. Yes. No. Yes. 
Get ready to celebrate the biggest season in Bengs history. Shall we steam the wrinkles out of our wizard robes or make vigorous socially sanctioned love? Either way, I can check something off my to-do list. The Big Bang Theory's final season begins CBS Monday, September 24th, followed by the season premiere of Young Sheldon. Well, next at 5 o'clock, allegations of racism at an Orange County High School football game now pitting two principals against one another. Plus, dramatic body cam video from the LAPD shows the frightening moments an officer was shot. Also, a harrowing ride caught on camera bus in San Francisco careens out of control, drives onto a sidewalk, and slams into a building. And reuniting with the baby, they rush to say, we have the special day for some local deputies. We'll see you after this shoot. Are you the victim of an assault? Go to JudgeJudy.com, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. Now, I want to know, if that was in February, how come you find yourself pregnant for two months in June? Oh, uh, no. Uh, June, I was, um, I was more than uh, two months pregnant. You just told me you were two months pregnant, so you wanted to check your blood pressure in uh, June. No, no, That's was, why you I, called I an ambulance. My bad. I was, I was more. In June, I was, I was, I was like... Six months, I think, yeah, six months or something. But no, I was two months pregnant. That was misunderstood. You filed a protective order against her? Yes. And she caused an incident with you in July? Is that the date of the incident when you filed for this protective order? Yeah, yes. You have any bills for any of the other things that were destroyed? Bills, yes. I have uh, proof of how much the things cost and receipt for a purchase of it. I'd like to see. You're not suing for being arrested. That's unfortunate. Although you're suing for the court maximum, I would have awarded you money for false arrest because I don't think there was any basis for you to be arrested other than the police in New York sometimes are scared not to make an arrest if there's a call for domestic violence. Oh. Your counterclaim is dismissed. You destroyed his suits and his computer. Well, Judgment Honor, for the plaintiff in the a... amount of $2,500. We're finished. What is an excuse? You may step out. Judge Judy continues in a moment. And on the next Judge Judy. Getting work on her eyebrows was an eye opener. I found out at that point that they weren't licensed. I want to see what your eyebrows looked like right after they were done. I don't have a photo of that. Why not? Judge Judy. I think she needs anger management. She can't control her, her behavior. That's all. Things you just make up, make up. These are, I don't know. I was shocked that she would do something so crazy. No, uh, my son was way far away. I mean, I don't know if she's a, should be in his life. I don't know. I didn't scare my son. He's, this is all lies. I know that I need to leave her. The video is all made up, also. Just mother and father. Just not fight around the child so that our son don't get took away from nobody, so. That, uh, there's nothing else there. Yes, yes, my son, I was first, yes, yes, yes. I've been through hell with her, man. Just trying to find heaven. Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is CBS 2 News at 5 p.m. President Trump's comments contributes to controversy at a high school football game. One principal claims racist signs were aimed at his predominantly Latino school. Two Orange County high schools are under a cloud of controversy. The fallout after their Friday night football game continues today. Yeah, one principal sent out a letter today explaining exactly what happened. And CBS2 Orange County reporter Michelle Gili is live at Aliso Viejo with details on this racially charged incident. Michelle. Emotions are high, and I can tell you there are many differing opinions about about what went on during the Aliso Niguel football game Friday night. They played Santa Ana. But one thing is for certain, the Santa Ana High School principal is not backing down. He says his kids were treated badly. And honestly, all I'm doing is I'm taking the cover and lifting it up and the hell with anybody that doesn't like that. After a weekend of death threats and hate mail, Santa Ana's high school principal, Jeff Bishop, stands behind comments he made after Friday's football game in Aliso Viejo. Bishop's claims of racism directed at his students that many people dispute happened on a night where Aliso Niguel High chose a red, white, and blue theme. And when you have our band members and a girl that had a, a Coke thrown at her and and this is the comment that, that I knew that I had to, to, to remain silent no more. 
when they said, as one of our students was driving out of the parking lot, one of, and again, a small number of kids, I want to make that clear, right? When they said, it's not a great day to be a Mexican now, is it? When I heard that, oh, hell no. Due to the proximity to September 11th, Aliso Niguel's principal says the students decided to have a patriotic theme. She acknowledged in a statement that a few of the signs in the stands with the words Trump and Obama were political and were taken down. But the Santa Ana Unified Superintendent called others offensive and insensitive. Quote, the signs read, make America great, make America white, build that wall to name just a few. Aliso Niguel students chanting USA, USA were asked by their principal to stop. The signs, of course, that was racist. You know, the chanting USA. Yeah, we know we're in USA. You don't have to chant that. That was just uncalled for. I saw one that said build a wall, yes. And that one was like, was like wow, it was like, you, you wouldn't expect that. After both principals talked at the game, the Santa Ana principal posted his concerns on Facebook, which caused a social media storm. Denny Christensen, Aliso Niguel's principal, said this, quote, I'm deeply saddened that anyone could categorize our students or community as racist, and I have made that very clear. We have nothing but respect for Santa Ana High School and all schools. Aliso Viejo Mayor Dave Harrington has a son on the football team and was at the game. And they painted us all, our entire community, as racist. That principal did not paint individuals as racist, and that's not really his job anyway. He's an educator, and he lost a teachable moment by the, by the way he handled this incident. Now, the mayor went on to say that chanting USA isn't racist. And a Santa Ana father and the Santa Ana principal suggested that if, in fact, this was a game to honor 9-11 victims, why wasn't there a moment of silence or something done during halftime? And also they asked, why wasn't the opposing team notified of this? Because they said they would have wanted to participate in any kind of 9-1-1 ceremony.